Good morning guys and welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. <laughs> We're here in the city of Turkestan in Kazakhstan and we're up early this morning. The sun is just rising above the buildings behind us because it's going to get really hot today. Yesterday we had time to explore this amazing city here. But today we've got to make some distance north into Kazakhstan. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and today we're aiming for a big day. We want to make it past Kislorda all the way up here to a roadhouse somewhere around here. It's about 380 miles and Google Maps says it will take us seven hours. It's already 7.30 so better hit the road. Let's go. Okay. Already you can feel the sun, right? Yeah. When it hits you, you can just feel the heat from it already. It's crazy. Whew, man, it's gonna be a hot day today. Yeah, I can tell ya that I was dead yesterday after our city tour. I was just knocked out. Yeah, and we weren't even wearing our motorcycle gear. I think it reached 40 degrees yesterday. Hence why we set the alarm early this morning to try yeah. and get a little bit of cool riding in the morning. Yeah. But I'm really positive surprised by this town here. They put a lot of effort in it to make it really nice. Yeah, that central area around where the um, mausoleum is, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's this massive open green space full of parks and monuments. I mean, Turkestan is one of the top 10 most visited places in Kazakhstan. And you can see why. Beautiful place. You speak English? Yes, yes. Oh, cool. Where do you learn English? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Cool. Motorcyclist? Yeah, yeah. Ah, cool. Yamaha, Suzuki, what's that? Kitaiski, Blin, Kitaiski. 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 Japan. CC. CC. Yeah. Novo in Shimkent. Shimkent, yes. This one and this one. This one, Novo in Almaty. Almaty, yes. Anglia, France, Spain, Africa. Africa. Brazil, America, America, uh, America Canada, America. Canada, Korea, Canada. Korea, Vladivostok, Rus Russia, Mongolia, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, uh -huh. Kazakhstan. Yeah, finish. 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 It's strong. <laughs> so what have you got for us? <laughs> well, cappuccino, lovely. Nice Whoa, look at this. We needed to stock up on some water and we needed some breakfast so apparently here is cabbage inside okay and i don't know what's inside here okay but i thought let's give it a go all right some undefined pastries i love it yeah. off or they stopped us okay hello hello hi <laughs> uh, good day <laughs> good day uh, okay uh, uh, this is me yes 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 uh, here is Lorda a uh, I take B yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, me sit sitting, okay. Okay. You never shaved it, Harsha. You never shaved it. You never shaved this one. Harsha, Harsha. Spasiba. Photo. One, two, three. Rachmed, Rachmed. Rachmed. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was a bit strange, wasn't it? <laughs> that was funny. It was like uh, he just wanted like a picture for evidence that he was like saying something to us or something. Yeah, I think so too. I don't know, because he was like, he didn't really say anything. You were like taking a picture and he was just like pointing like da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> there you go. Pleasant police stop in Kazakhstan. Yes. Nice. So we just crossed the east-west time zone boundary in Kazakhstan. Actually, it's interesting because Kazakhstan actually spans four time zones, but the country just decided on two. I guess to make it more simple, they just have East Kazakhstan time and West Kazakhstan time. And the boundary we just passed put us now only four hours difference from the UK. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is as well a really interesting point about traveling the world to cross all the time zones you know normally when you take a plane i don't know from england to australia you just skip all the time zones because we are riding every time zone back to england it's always like oh we got one hour more oh we got one hour more now it's instead of eight 50 it's 7 50. oh that means we woke up really early this Yay! morning that means we woke up at like five o'clock this morning but yeah just four more time zone boundaries to go uh-huh and we'll be home yo <laughs> Whoa, a whole bunch of camels right next to the road. Wow. Amazing. Cool. Hello, guys. Hi, guys. <gasps> they are huge. Wow. There he is. <laughs> Hello. I mean, we have seen some camels, but that big? They are some pretty incredible animals, hey? Yes. Wow. And so many as well. That's awesome. But I'm confused about them now because some of them have two humps and some of them have one. Like this definitely has one hump, look. Yeah. What about this one? <laughs> Hello. As well, just one. Yeah, this has one hump. Yeah. But some of the ones I saw back there had two. So maybe they're just mixing dromedaries and Bactrian camels together. Such beautiful animals, hey? Totally. Oh, we made him a bit scared. Okay. <laughs> See you Bye later, guys. guys. <laughs> Cow in the road. Oh, man. What is he doing there? No idea. He's not even with a herd. He's just on his own. A little bit of a rest stop here. Stretch our legs. We decided that as we're riding just under 400 miles, we're going to take a break every 100 miles. So we've done our first 100 miles and it's only 9 a.m. in this time zone. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a new record. Yes. There's like a roadhouse here and we got some pomegranate carbonated drink. I don't know, never had it before, but give it a go. And some crisps. I've never seen this flavor of crisps before. It's like, I don't even know what that is. It's like, I don't know, lamb and potato flavor or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we'll give it a go. <laughs> what is it? Tastes like lamb. Is it lamb? Tastes like lamb. For me it does. <laughs> They're quite meaty, aren't they? We're just throwing away our vegetarianism now here in Kazakhstan. Yeah, completely. Bye-bye. We've got a whole massive herd of camels right on the side of the highway. Look at this. Wow. Wow. They are big! Wow, and it's crazy that they are just like right on the edge of this highway. I mean, this highway has a speed limit of 110 and you've got like giant trucks flying along and then you've just got a whole herd of camel wandering <laughs> down the side. That's mental. That's crazy. So we're on break number two of the day, 200 miles down, and it's not even midday. 
but our navigation says it's still three hours 45 minutes to our destination the road is quite easy but it's really fast paced and it's very hot as well so i think we will get there but it's not the most comfortable let's say Хорошо. Доброго пути. Kazakhstan. Hello America. <laughs> so the highway has turned into a single track highway now and there are just loads and loads and loads of trucks the huge queue. And it's really funny because 90% of the trucks are actually old trucks from Germany. So I can see like really old advertising on there. This one is Schreiner. Schreiner Transporter. <laughs> probably when they fail their MOT, they probably just like sell them to Kazakhstan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've got a lot of overtaking to do, let's do it! Yes, made it to the front! So we're just having our break and we're just seeing this massive line of trucks that we overtook. Well, they've all overtaken us again. Look at them! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 trucks. That looks like fun, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Another overtaking session, hey? <laughs> well, we've done pretty well so far. This is break number three. We've covered just under 300 miles, 291 miles. And local time is only 2.20. I don't think we've ever covered nearly 300 miles by two o'clock. Never ever. That's crazy. Yeah, it's always a surprise how other people can ride like 700 or even a thousand miles a day. I have no idea how they do it. It's yeah, I know. Impossible. Yeah, I mean, we're close to 300. I'm already like we're getting already super dead. tired. I'm already like, oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I think we can manage one more leg, mm -hmm. 100 miles. Yeah and then done for the day. Let's do it. 38,999.9 We just hit 39,000 miles on the road! is coming soon because we are dangerously low on fuel now i passed the last one like 50 miles ago and i was like oh yeah it'll be fine there'll be more but there really hasn't been very much at all out here it's like almost a desert so now the bike's saying that we've got about 33 miles left in the tank and then that's it Hope for the best time yeah i'm just gonna take it a little bit slower try and conserve fuel and then yeah, yeah we'll hopefully come across one pretty soon the petrol went down very fast because the wind is so strong as well oh this looks like it might be something up ahead is it a petrol station or is it just a cafe no it's a petrol station there's a sign for fuel yes we're not running out today. Okay. Is, is this a petrol so? station? Yeah, I think so. Maybe it is. Uh, ga gasolina. No, petrol. Ah, Dutch engine. On Mosta. Yes, this way. Ah, uh, okay. Ten kilometer or? Five kilometer. Okay. Sasiva. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can see something on maps, me. Okay. Coming up. Okay, well, five kilometers is not too bad. We could probably make that. Okay, cool. The estimation is that I've got 27 miles in the tank. Okay. So, absolutely plenty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, here's some more camels. Look, a whole herd of them. Oh, nice. Wow. That's incredible. Honestly, I just find that crazy that they can just chill there like that. Okay, we might be onto something here. Oh yes, this one looks like it's got some cars in front. Looks promising. Oh yes, I think we're golden. Yo! Look at that, nothing to worry about. A cool yeah. 25 miles left in the tank. Stressing for nothing. <laughs> we don't know if they got fuel yet though. <laughs> 
true. Let's have a look. 92. Okay. Yeah. Black in the UK is always diesel. Oh, okay. So I'm always scared. But it says 92, so. Okay. Yes, we have petrol. Awesome. Look at that. Stopped it on 3,200 dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm quite proud of that. Yes. yes. Back in business. Yes. He was just asking to put a sticker on his door. Okay. So if you want to do that. Yeah. Let's put a happy and alive sticker on his door. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Yes, on the door. Cool. Look at this. Nice. Hey, Horizons Unlimited. Uh. This is cool. Mm -hmm. Long way back. <laughs> All bikers are brothers. Uh, I like it. <laughs> Me, Ollie, her, Lavi. Uh, <laughs> Here. Ah, oh, okay. Lavi and Ollie, happy and alive, going on the door of fame. Rakhmet, Rakhmet, Rakhmet. Okay. Bye bye. Cool. reaching the place where we're going to try and stay for the night. Yoo! Yeah, we made it! Oh, how nice, eh? How nice. Let's pray that they have a room for us available. Yeah, that's the other thing, isn't it? Because there isn't many options around, to be honest. <laughs> it's <laughs> no. mostly just a desert. I know that they have like camping here, I think, as well, in case we're can't get a room maybe we could camp okay yeah let's check it out hey eh? yeah this is like a all-in-one center so hotel cafe restaurant all kinds of things probably we have to go to the reception don't we okay I guess yeah Whew, I am tired after that many hours oh, I tell I can you imagine. oh my god let's check it out yep so I just spoke to the guy. He's really, really friendly. And we will just park up the bike behind the building. He gave me uh, the room keys and the room costs only 10 pounds. That's pretty good. Incredible. Nice. So I saw the room already. Nice air condition. Yes. yes. Beautiful. And there's a restaurant inside? Yes. Nice. Okay. So the plan, drop off everything at the room, drop off Bumblebee and go and eat some food. The green gates. Inside here. Yes! <laughs> Okay. Perfect, Rahmed. Oh, your name? Daddy Beck. Daddy Beck. Yeah. There we go. Home sweet home, hey? Yeah. Nice, <laughs> eh? I really like the design. Look at that. These rooms in Kazakhstan, they are something else, hey? I mean, they're always nice and clean and beautiful. I just feel so homely. The details are nice. Yeah, it's pretty cozy. 10 pounds. 10 pounds. 10 pounds. So that was a pretty hectic ride today. Very, very long. I think we rode 390 miles. 
pretty much the whole day. I'm really exhausted, I'm really tired, and I'm really happy to be here. Happy and alive! Yay! <laughs> so we will just pack up Bumblebee now, and then we have a nice rest. We will have a nice dinner here in the restaurant. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Just eat, I guess. <laughs> Come.